really favors them by one point four. But I think it has really to do with the fact that CW is on a ruby. The dragon that doesn't like the fighters of the gold lane. But let's see though. If Fnatic on it is able to win this one and close out the match or he was going, will they be able to force out game number three? Lanathan, here we go. Ruby in the gold lane, jungle Roger. Let's see if it works out for Fnatic on it because in leg number one, it was Kyrie on the Roger jungle. It's a whole different situation right here for Albert. You see, though, he's shown though that with the right circumstances, he can go aggressive. But Annabelle on the Nolan. Try number two, and technically when it comes to options, when it comes to targets, there's even less here. Only Sans, but even then, he is a bit more mobile. So this mid lane, at Clockland's gonna have to be so active. Let's take a look at the ambulance by Indy Home. Really seeing that for Keyboard, Agility and Wilderness Blessing, it's gonna be really fast on his feet when it's coming to the rotations, especially through the river. And on top of that, Market Hunter Inspire for Natco. Once again, all the spells available, kind of burst down, kind of reach the power spikes before uh, CW can get out of control. But with the Festival of Blood and the Thrill, he himself is going for a lot of damage and sustainability. Uh oh, yeah, Nathan looking for the trade. In the bottom lane, has the flicker, but Albert can chase you down and get his oh, first blood man. to Fnatic Onic, and he loses head on a cannon minion. All oh, that hurts. There's a goal lane that hurts. And it's not just the first time if that it can do damage and sustain at the same time. They are using that factor to just allow like, that to happen. And now with are all spawning. And if it's an all key boy with the ejector flicker combo, they're on the clock, good he goes. He picks up the kill there, Albert winning out the rest of battle, 50-50. Dreams go flicker this time around. The Rezzler will pick up the kill, and Annabelle won't even be able to walk in his own triple buff. Oh, Bottom no. lane, it's a solo kill, and another ejector from T-Boy. The implosion for good measure. Fnatic Onyx winning on all fronts. His own friends getting demolished in his own jungle. Oh. Oh man, the hard cut, he was not even guarding anybody. It's Sans with the implosion. Is that Sans or is it Kihoi? It's Pearl Pursuit from Fluffy, an implosion from Dreams on the three, but he can't do anything. Oh, the hook with the I'm offended. Now it's a jump from Natko, but it is going to be Albert who goes for the three. His friend is still surviving. Annabelle getting the kill back, but Albert can go with the oh! light four and the light compounds all the way to pick up a double kill. Who was? Anyone from the side of Fnatic Onic? At this point, what is the solution? Oh, oh Kihoi. Almost did one, and missed it one more! Penalties on, Fluffy flickers out, Annabelle tickles Rez, and the turret goes down. Fluffy still wants to go in on the CW, he goes, but hey, CW is not a marksman, he can actually survive! Dreams going for the big play, now with the chaos, too, and the brilliant Lambert is still in alive! Not oh. going to the kill, finally getting a shutdown, but some Fnatic Onic only lose one member despite getting comboed like that. It is a W, though, for Evo Story, there was that a shutdown. That is somehow what Dreams getting a huge explosion, but so far Fnatic Onic is doing good job. Oh, into the implosion. No shove here. Fluffy still able to survive. Dreams able to implosion himself. Now Hannibal walking oh. up. Here by you, stop Fluffy. And for the pursuit again, Albert walking back. Now oh. he continues the chase. On the key where he goes. A lot of damage for himself. Oh, Fluffy. Looking forward. Sun's able to dodge away from it. Wow. But now he's going to get some The engage comes down. Rest of the penalty zone. Over to Fluffy. Trying to do some damage. That go. Chunky Keyboy. Both teams. Oh, Nick, but I don't think they're going to just commit to this one just yet. Keyboy will look for oh. a big up here, but no, Albert. Albert just goes for it. Fluffy now isolated. Two men have a pen. Oh, he's zone. That's the combo. Dream can escape. Fluffy with the infernal pursuit into the front. Keyboy now with a unstoppable force and the flicker backwards. It's Fluffy all alone in the back. Dream's over. Conceal ready. Rez in the force waiting for it now. The Dream is unable to go for the implosion just yet. Sans gets taken out, but now the regage comes out. The implosion gets cancelled by the oh. hype of NFCW. The ejector oh. to bring Albert towards that call. And I'll get to trade. CW is able to sustain just for a bit until Albert comes in to clean them up. Now it's just Clock Hood left to defend against Albert and Terezla. It really is the lob city here from Fnatic Onyx two times. The second time in Albert alley you from Keyboy as they're looking to get this down. But they're still passive from the turret. The Lord is still marching down the top lane. They have no solution for Albert, man. A single like and pounce. What was that? Half the HP bar of Natko and Annabelle? They is insane burst right here, especially with his itemization as the Lord is on the top side. They have to find a way to survive from the oh, endless Lord. battle. He goes again. Who exactly do you target with that uh, order, man? It has to be Albert, but if you saw how the previous fight went, Albert was just hidden the whole time. Onik is playing this really, really well. They know what their win conditions are. That's a winner crown for Sans Keyboy again. With the conceal. Oh no! Uh, negative synergy there. Dream actually went for the jump. And now it's Dream to the flicker forward. They're trying to go for the implosion. Oh. Gets caught by Sans' implosion with the balance. Here, Rez. Block it out of Elta. Oh. Down the retribution battle somehow. Albert in the minutes of it all. Still doing some damage. That is a double. Oh, no. He's looking for his third triple this game. Clockman, what is he gonna do? He can't do anything against Albert. That's the gun form.
to cut him down. Annabelle all alone in the mid lane as he steals the Enhanced Lord early oh. on for Fracture. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Fnatic on it can just walk him down. That's a base turret in the mid lane. That's a base turret up top. That's a penalty zone and an unofficial maniac for Albert. 2-0. Clean sweep for Fnatic on it. Absolute domination from Fnatic Onyx in game number two. It's just the usual Onyx that you usually see uh, in, uh, in their golden moments. We're going to see what happened in that game earlier and also the emblems that both teams chooses. It was Calm Cool collected for Fnatic Onyx and honestly that last that last kill on Annabelle was overkill. But at that point, the game is you know ending, so why not? Looking at some of the items here, Sans immediately with the Lightning Truncheon, with the Winter Crown, outplay potential, burst damage possibility as well. Knowing that there is adequate damage coming in from Albert, of course, from the true damage of the Thunderbelt, the Endless Battle, and with the chase potential of the Great Dragon Spear, he's in trouble.